Okay, hello friends and followers. Here's the Tentec Paragon. One major loop board, all resoldered. I pretty much hit every joint on this thing carefully to uh, give it continuity and look for shorts. I didn't see any shorts. I did see lots of bad connections and somebody had gone through this thing before and we soldered a few connections, but only a few. So I hit them all. And I think now the board should have integrity. So just a matter now of testing it and replacing the uh, slugs in here that are missing and seeing if the board will work at all. So this is the major loop board. I suppose now it's time to pull the minor loop board and see if I can fiddle with that one. Of course, it's always good to look at some of these add-ons they did to see if they uh, are correct. And the schematic for this board from Tentec may not really match what's here. There's probably some gimmicks and some things on here that are suspect. So that's about it. I don't see any of these boards on uh, eBay to uh, procure. This looks out of character here. Well, there's a few of those green ones in here. I suppose they're original. I guess I could replace a couple capacitors here. But that's about it. The board's uh, all resoldered, so... Since I'm waiting for the CPU chip for the uh, radio, since I burned out the other CPU chip, I suppose I could, uh, could clip these off and... Maybe, boy, that's really a high spot. Okay, that's a resistor. Yeah, so I, I can probably now go into the um, the uh, minor loop board, pull that one out, and resolder it. That one doesn't usually go kaflui. It's usually a major loop board problem, so... Since the guy was fooling with a minor loop board, too, that's interesting, and I wonder why these things are so pronounced. I won't cut them off. Okay, that's my little video here. It's probably time to put this in. I'm thinking about just putting some machine screws in here. I kind of hate doing that though. But machine screws and if I could cut the head off of the machine screw and make a slug out of it, but that would probably work. Steel would probably work. It, it, it depends how much tinkering these need. Um, if I could run this board in situ, meaning that I could run it upside down, I could probably just add inductance to the coil. I have a whole box of inductances. I could probably just parallel those and get these things into residence or into uh, lock. That might be a way to do it without uh, touching the slugs or fooling with slugs. I got a whole bunch of coils of various inductances so you can most likely parallel those with these and dial it up I suppose, not dial it back. All right, well, suspense. I'm waiting for my CPU chip. I suppose I could go through here and check transistors and yada, 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 but better off to just throw it in the radio and see how it works. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a great day.